the Bursa BP9CC. Let's check it out. Bursa has been around since the 1950s. Uh, they're located in Argentina and the founders have a background with Beretta. They're very popular in South America and for good reason. And we've done a number of reviews lately on the Bursa series. Almost five years ago, we did a full review on the BP9CC. This pistol, because it's single stack, it's a polymer frame, it's very trim and slim. But one of the reasons why I wanted to bring this review to you again was because the price has dramatically dropped over the past few years to make this a great budget-friendly concealed carry option. The Bursa BP9CC, uh, made down in Argentina, which has a really strong firearm industry. Uh, this is their first polymer frame pistol. This has been out for a while. In fact, I did an original review on this pistol uh, back in 2014. I believe it was in August. And uh, we have used this gun quite a bit since that time. And there's just something about it that I love. Uh, a lot of times when you get some of the le less expensive firearms, sometimes the quality can suffer. And it just doesn't really trip my trigger. But this little BP9, I just love it. Uh, this is your single stack, so it's going to compete with a lot of the larger brands like your Shield and your Glocks um, and other Waller, a number of different single stack handguns. The first thing let's do is drop the magazine. Uh, we have eight rounds plus one, and then we'll check the chamber and it's empty. Now there are some unique features about this handgun that I really like. One of the big ones is the price. Uh, the price on this is just fantastic. In fact, the MSRP is just over $300. One other plus for the BP9CC is that it does have an abbreviated accessory rail. So you can put lights, lasers, whatever you want to on this small concealed carry handgun. Uh, but yet it has a full grip and so that gives you enough confidence to even use this in a home defense situation now there is a 380 acp in the bp series and a 40 caliber and there's a number of different color choices you can go to the eagle imports website and check it out they carry all the different bursas different frame slide coordination colors and uh, in fact we're going to be getting one of the nickel plated slides to do some uh, comparisons with the new Glock G43X. And uh, while we're talking about that, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. Here we have the G43X, and of course, it is unloaded. Uh, one thing about these two handguns is that they are the exact same in dimensions. I mean, from the slides down to the grip. Uh, now, the G43X does have 10 plus one, while the Bursa has eight plus one. But we have no accessory rail here. We have an accessory rail on the BP9CC. Uh, but one of the big things about this, again, is the price. You know, you're talking about, you know, a couple of hundred dollars less than the G43X. And so that's one thing I really want to point out about the Bursa. But I'm telling you guys, there's something about this. We have used this for car guns. Uh, I've taken the kids out to shoot this quite a bit. It's just a really soft shooting 9mm handgun. The slide... Uh, you know, it's just very well done. You can see the blued finish on here. And uh, everything's got the scallops that kind of curve in. And they are really easy to grab. Um, the uh, action of this handgun is very smooth. But one thing, though, that to me is a plus with this handgun is the trigger. It's double action, but yet it's what they call a short reset double action. Now the trigger is unique, uh, and it has a little bit of free play, but then right here you have some resistance. And this is what they say, it's about one and a half pounds right to here, and you come against the wall. And then we have a nice crisp break. 
right there. Reset is really fast. I'm telling you guys, this is a very smooth trigger action. Uh, and again, it is double action. So for a double action, really almost pre-cocked, it's just so smooth. We have our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. Right there's that one and a half pound. And then we have that three pounds, 4.9 ounces. Three pounds, 2.7 ounces. Three pounds, 5.8 ounces which really is a little bit of a light trigger pull, but because you have that one and a half pound trigger pull coming in, it gives you a little bit more of an indication that you're pulling the trigger. The design of the frame is beautiful. Now we have these pads right here that are textured, and then we have ribs all the way through. Uh, I'll tell you, it's not super aggressive, um, you know, it, but it's so thin that you're able to really get a good grip on the handgun. Uh, but, you know, you might want to put some talent grips on here. And, of course, you know, this would be a great candidate to do some stippling if you wanted to. But really, for me, as far as shooting this handgun, you know, I didn't. I felt like it was good and solid. I felt like I had a lot of confidence while shooting. One thing I do like are these little memory pads right here. So when I pull my finger out of the trigger guard, it goes right to that little memory pad. And they're on both sides of the handgun. One thing, too, I really like is the magazine release. Now, it's protected right here, so you're not going to inadvertently hit it, but pop it, it does eject the magazine. Now, it's a little difficult in a way to kind of hit that unless you pull your thumb all the way around, but I really don't have to adjust my grip to hit that mag release. But the great thing is it's ambidextrous, and I can use my trigger finger to release that magazine if I want, which I really like that feature, and it's really easy both sides. You do get a really high grip on the handgun, so it has a really low bore axis. Now, you're going to notice the three-dot sights. The rear sight uses your standard Glock, uh, like your G19 or G17 rear sight. The front sight is a SIG number 8, and so these sights are readily available, and of course, these are just standard three-dot sights. While there are no external safeties on the handgun, uh, when you drop your magazine, you have a magazine disconnect. I'm not a big fan, but that is the way this handgun was designed. Another thing is they do have a lock for storage. And so you can, you have a little key, you can turn that to safety. I'm also not a fan of that, but a lot of people like to kind of keep their guns locked, especially if they're gonna, you know, put them up in their safe and they wanna keep them out of, you know, especially small children. And we're gonna place a dummy round in the magazine. And right here we have our loaded chamber indicator it's tactile. You can feel it right there, and of course, obviously, you can see it. And we have our slide stop, which is also a slide release. Uh, it's nice. It rides really close to the frame, but yet you have a little bit of a ledge there to be able to grab. And you're not out to inadvertently hit that while shooting. Now, the barrel is 3.3 inches in length, and these are rated for plus P. They're six and a third inches in length. They're just under five inches in height, and they're 0.94 inches in width. So it's a really thin handgun. Very much so like the Glock 43 or the 43X. All right, the BP9CC, one pound, 4.8 ounces. The Glock 43X, one pound, 2.6 ounces. Smith & Wesson Shield, one pound, 4.6 ounces, and that's with the eight round magazine. Since we weighed the shield, let's compare it to the shield. Pretty much the exact same profile, even in the length. And uh, again, both of these hold eight rounds. Now, if you want to go with the seven rounds, you can drop this one out and put a little shorter magazine in it. But apples to apples, eight rounds, eight rounds. I want to thank Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo uh, made right here in the USA. And also, we're going to be shooting some Hornady Critical Defense just to test to see if how to function with uh, hollow points. I brought about 400 rounds down to the range. Um, most of it was Fiocchi 115 grain, but we also brought some critical defense by Hornady. Uh, this was the 115 grain. Uh, it should, this is a really great uh, ammunition, especially if you're having some kind of feeding issues with jacketed hollow points. Good stuff.
We have shot quite a bit of other self-defense loads in here and it just functions. Uh, it, we had no malfunctions whatsoever. The accuracy was good. Uh, it was just solid. And it's funny because uh, when I did my first range accuracy, it was just one good solid dot. But um, it's capable. If I can get my sights online, it hits right in the, where you're pointing. Uh, and of course, you know, with the uh, Glock or SIG replacement sights, it's really easy to be able to get aftermarket options. If I have one complaint about it, it would be that the grip needs to be a little more textured. Um, you know, it's, it's thin and I like the way it feels, but when you're shooting a lot, uh, it does seem to be a little bit slippery. Uh, I didn't really have any problems with it, but I could see having issues, especially in wet or maybe you have blood on your hands or something, and uh, this could get really slick. Uh, talon grips would take care of that. Really easy to rack that slide, and um, overall it's very simple, and range day was a lot of fun. I'm going to drop the magazine, check the chamber, and we're going to go ahead and disassemble the firearm. Uh, if you'll notice right here, there are two notches. Just bring those and line them up. And then here you have your slide stop. We're going to reach over here and just depress from the other side. And then just pull out your slide stop. Okay, we have to insert our magazine to pull the trigger, <laughs> and then we release our slide. We have our recoil spring and guide rod. Uh, this is a dual recoil spring. You have your flat recoil spring that really helps mitigate recoil, but underneath is a really small, thin recoil spring, so it's dual and it's captured. And this is all steel. Here we have our barrel, and it is the Browning linkless design. And here we have our firing pin block safety, uh, but you can see the quality is just really well executed. And here we have, you know, a lot of this looks very similar to a lot of striker fire pistols, but the hammer design is just a little bit different for that double action. And your front slide rail is actually a little longer than a lot of the polymer frame pistols that you see. And of course you have a small little abbreviated rail on the back. And that's all you need to do to field strip uh, for reassembly. Just drop in your barrel. Uh, when you're putting in your recoil spring, make sure that the little split there goes toward the front. And also, when you get your recoil spring in, you want to make sure that it's lined up with your barrel. We're going to bring it back. We're going to line up our notches, drop in our slide stop. Test for function, and we're good to go. Okay, and as far as weapons lights, of course, the Olight PL Mini 2 fits right on there and it's nice and small for this handgun. But that's one of the advantages you're getting over your Glock G43, and your shield for that matter. Now from what I understand, there is a new model of the BP9CC coming. Uh, there's some very minor changes according to Eagle Imports, and one is the slide serrations are gonna be a little different. Uh, they've increased the length of the extractor. The recoil spring has been upgraded, and the trigger has been upgraded. Uh, it's very slight, but according to Raphael at Eagle Imports, he said you will be able to notice a difference. This trigger's already just really super sweet, so I just, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what these changes are, even though they're not going to be really dramatic. And when we get that in, we are going to be doing a comparison with the Glock 43X and the shield. Now, one thing that I do want to mention are the magazines. Uh, the magazines uh, on the Eagle Imports are like $50, so they're really fairly expensive. Uh, at Gun Mag Warehouse, I did see them for, I think it was $42. So that's, you know, getting it at least down there. Uh, you do get two magazines with the gun, but, you know, that price is a little bit steep. Now, one of the big appeals of the Bursa BP9CC is the price. These retail for $302. Uh, on the Eagle Imports website, uh, but I saw it on Sportsman's Guide for $246.99, which is a fantastic deal. Uh, plus, on Sportsman's Guide, they do offer Such viewers $20 off every $100 or more purchase using Such in the coupon code, and that always makes it nice. Now, pros and cons of the pistol. Uh, first off, we're going to start with pros. The price is just excellent, you know, under $250. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat a really good quality single stack 9mm pistol, uh, especially with the features that this one has. 
It's got a very thin profile, a very simple design. I like that, especially for concealed carry. It is ambidextrous, magazine release. Uh, and you do have an accessory rail, which you don't typically have on most of your subcompact or your slimline 9mm pistols. Uh, sights interchange with Glock and SIG, which makes it really nice. Uh, I have seen a lot of positive uh, feedback from these pistols. I posted a picture on Instagram earlier this week, and I mean, everybody just down the line was talking about, you know, thousands of rounds through their BP9CC, and they love it. And so I think that this is one to look for, guys, if you're really looking for a, a concealed carry option that won't break the bank. And Bursa has really proven itself over the past few years. Now, one of the downsides would be the magazines. I mean, you, you do get two magazines, which is huge <laughs> with some guns, but they are about, you know, $42 on the Gun Mag Warehouse website. But uh, that can be a little bit of a challenge. But all the Bursa magazines are a little bit pricey. So that's just the one thing. Uh, as far as any other cons, uh, really, guys, uh, the trigger... You know, maybe a little lighter than some would like. I found that it's really nice, really smooth, and there are safeties built into the handgun. Another thing that I really don't care for is this external lock, uh, but, you know, it's in place and it is what it is. I know Smith & Wesson does that as well and some other companies. Uh, magazine disconnect. You know, I don't like that as well, but that's not a, a you know, deal breaker. So, really, overall... I mean, again, guys, I've had this pistol now for a number of years. We have put, we probably put about 1,500 rounds total through this handgun. No hiccups whatsoever. It's really accurate. And this is really one of my personal guns. I do have a lot of guns, but I do consider a lot of them just in the business and doing stuff. But this is one that we use. And uh, I really like this little Bursa BP9CC. And so guys, if you're looking for a concealed carry option that won't break the bank, check out the Bursa BP9CC. Uh, it has all the same features of all the big boys, and yet the price is right. And no, Bursa's not paying me, and I have had this gun for four and a half years. And guys, I'll tell you, it's solid. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. This is by this. Whoops. <laughs> Let's do that again. Okay. Uh, mainly because the price is. Hey, Brock. What's up? Now we're going to try some of the Hornady Critical. We're going to try the Hornady. But Sportsman's Guide offers shoot. <laughs> shoot viewers. You know, that's a plus, <laughs> especially for. <laughs> especially for concealed carry. Yeah. Uh.